So what specific results can you guarantee? What's going on, my high vibrational individual expressions of God on earth? It's your boy, Dr. Will Rogers, a.k.a. Master Teacher 33. Christmas Eve, make sure you guys take advantage of the Christmas Eve and Christmas Day special. I got something else tomorrow planned as well. But um, everybody has their life optimization circle. You know, that's part of the Deer Canoe Report. Uh, you have your sword and your shield, but you don't have your flag. So make sure you pick up your life optimization flag. That's the new addition to the family. I'm still working on the ring and the necklace as well. But the flag is just simply like every country has a flag. It's kind of like the, you know, the emblem that we talked about before. Because what we're talking about is you showing up as yourself every day in every way, especially online. So online, you have to show up. You have every post, everything that you do represents you, represents your family. It also should represent your business. It should represent what you guarantee. We all, knowingly or unknowingly, are presenting ourselves in a specific frequency or a specific way. All we want to do is we want to brand that. So make sure you pick up the flag, your life optimization flag, or your destiny flag, however you want to call it. Um, again, I sent the uh, images along with the TikTok video. Just to give and share additional information. I want to jump right in today, though, talking about what specific results are you promising. What I, what I mean by that is we're going from an age of general, generalist to an age of specifics or specialist. So you have to be a specialist. In 2024, you got to be a specialist. So today, you should have in your brain what you are going to present to the universe. We talked about it yesterday when we talked about we're going to focus on what is favorable. Today, we're going to look at three phrases that we want to clarify. Number one, what you think, you become. Number two, what you feel, you attract. Number three, what you imagine, you create. Now, each one of these phrases is how, and it shows, and it tells me what you guarantee. We all are and we have something that's the purpose also for the flag, life optimization report, the economic report, everything that we do. It's just to let people know what we've been through. What we do is what we've been through. So it's what I desire. Uh, it's what, you know, my determination, my willpower, my disposition, and along with my intellect. So that's my pen that we talked about yesterday. That's my purpose, my intent that I, that I use now. Purpose, intent, now. P-I-N, my pen. So we got money, but we need the PIN number to access the money. Another way of talking about accessing the money, a.k.a. the frequency, the wave of vibration, that allows you to show up as the market, into the marketplace, and you promise, you guarantee a specific result. People like clarity. So the more clarity you have, the more results you have. So the way we get clarity is based upon, okay, number one, what you think. Because... What you think, you become. And it's very important because what you feel, you attract. What you imagine, you create. So when we look at these three attributes and characteristics, and this is a saying that goes way back to, um, uh, I think it was Buddha, one of these frequencies that expressed this particular saying. And a saying is a seance. So this is what we all are doing knowingly or unknowingly. Um, so your job is just to be clear, clear on, number one, what are you thinking? So every day, again, you don't walk around and, you know, try to, uh, I mean, you can. I don't recommend it because you literally, uh, you won't be able to get anything done if you just focus in on your thoughts all day. Because, you know, we we, we have thoughts, but we are we, we are not thoughts. So the question is, we don't really have thoughts that generate them more so than we we perceive them. So what you think, you become. So another way of saying is, what you be, you are. It's a mental disposition, if you will. And 
when you under open understand this 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 mental disposition that you get to select the beautiful thing about it is you know we get to select um our mental disposition our mental dis our mental disposition and so it's very 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 important brothers and sisters that we under over and understand how we think because when we talk about thinking, it's these feelings that we have. But it's very interesting because the thought comes before the feeling, but we are only aware of the feeling. We're not really aware of the thought. And so it is this unawareness of thought that creates our issues. Because this is right before the holidays. Depending on where you are, what you're going on, you could be feeling some kind of way. Because, you know, we all want to do, we all good people, you know, we all want to do, you know, nice things and be a part of the holidays. And I couldn't remember days when I was in a position where, I, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't buy my kids anything. Then I can remember times and days when, like, you know, I've, I've been able to, like, the, I was looking at some of my memories that pop up on my Facebook page. And, um, oh, my son's. My bonus son's 16th birthday, and I, you know, bought him a, a Mercedes Benz, and I remember buying, paying cash for it. And it's very interesting how we base our feelings on our thoughts that comes from our externals. So unfortunately, you know, the way that we all think, because Everybody on this call, you want to deliver on your promises. If you owe somebody money, you want to pay them. If you made a promise to somebody, you want to fulfill it. We all do, but then things happen that limits your ability to do what you said you was going to do. And it's very, very, very important, brothers and sisters, that we all under over understand that as we, you know, go through these highs and lows in our life, we have to be aware of the thoughts that generate because what we have today is a result of a thought that was maintained yesterday. And so the only way, that's why it's trip, you can't, you can't get out because you can't change a thought while in the belly as well. That's the trick. The whole trick of being at the bottom is to teach you to focus on feeling like you're on the top, regardless of the thing that you've imagined, a.k.a. created, with your feelings and your thoughts. We create this reality that we're in. It doesn't matter where you are. If you have a lot of money, if you have no money, if you have perfect health or you're not in good health. You're very wise or you're not wise. If you are in a relationship or you're not in a relationship, the only question is, do you want to stay there tomorrow? So that means if you don't want to stay there and continue, you got to change the feeling. That's the bottom line. And unfortunately, that's the bottom line. The bottom line is what all of the neuroscientists have said over the years. Even the Bible says the same thing. We bring about what we think about. And so it is this inability to be aware that our feelings just reveal our thoughts. You can't really know what you're thinking unless you know what you're feeling. And the only way you know what you're feeling is to look at what you're having. So when you see how all three of these are tied in, because the brain works in harmony, the same way that the heart, the head, and the gut, or your feet, your heels, work in harmony. That's why it's called the trinity. And out of everything that I talk about, that's what I promise. Before you go into 2024, you got to be able to tell me or yourself, what are you the best in the world at? What specific result can you guarantee? What specific result can you promise? If I was to ask you that today, what's your answer? You see, it's interesting because we, we are good at a lot of things, but there has to be something that you can guarantee. That That's a specific result that when you go to the market, you can guarantee because 
you have control over all systems of distribution. One of the things that I, I, I really live in on, even like today's offer with the with the flag, there's a lot of I can there's a lot of fancy software programs. There's a lot of things that I could offer, but I only offer things that I control. I only guarantee the life optimization report, the economy report, all of those things in there, those are things that I created in my brain. And it doesn't depend upon something outside of me because then that controls me. Because if the person, place, or thing decides not to provide me with whatever it is, then I'm at a crossroads. That I put all, I put the keys to my happiness in that person's pocket. I put all my eggs in in, in that basket. So I try to limit. Now, obviously, we, we we all depend upon people. You know, we have like I tell you guys with the eggs. You know, so I, we get eggs that's delivered from this guy who has acres of land that. You know, he raises chickens, and he got, like, man, hundreds of chickens out there. And he produces, I don't know, some crazy number of dozens per day. So he thought, you know, do you guys remember that, that egg crisis kind of like, remember when, y'all went through, when we went through the toilet paper crisis? And so he really ramped it up during that time period. But a lot of people, now you can go buy eggs to the store now, and there's no biggie. Kind of with the gas prices, you know, stuff come and go. But I've always stayed with this guy because until you taste the difference between a store brought egg and an egg that's free ranged, uh, no GMOs, fresh, man, it's it's crazy. I never noticed it. Not, I never noticed it until I tasted it. So this guy guarantees something that most people can't. He guarantees fresh, no GMO, homemade, homegrown, whatever you want to call it, eggs, because he has chickens. Now, that doesn't say that that could change. You know, his chickens could get wiped out through some predators or something could happen that could change it. But today, right now, he can do that. And it's very, very important that we all understand that happiness and success and, you know, peace of mind and all of these things are all in, interdependent upon each other. I depend upon you the way you guys depend upon me. Why we, we are all in a vibrational relationship together. That's the point of having a system. For you to come to this show and walk away with value. But at the end of the day, I know that the value, I have to be able to come to the marketplace with a disposition. The disposition is all things put together for my good. The disposition is no one performed against me shall prosper. The disposition is that I'm not, it's not the channel. It's not the guy with the eggs. It's the mental disposition that I have. The, the, the challenge has always been, for me, my entire life, is my own mental stability, my own mindset. And the, the thing that I guarantee is to assist people with establishing that mental mindset. The hardest thing on earth that you would have to do is what I do. And that is establishing a mental disposition that's not based upon anything except source. It's based upon, and you are you are source because you attract men, means, and resources. Everything that happens to you is because of you. You are a god and a goddess. You're so powerful. You are so magnanimous. You have so many attributes, and you have so many characteristics that you get to select and choose which one of those attributes and characteristics that you want to magnify. The life optimization flag is a representation of your magnificence. When you see that flag, it should be posted on your wall, and you should take that, that again, today's offer is just the, the image. Additionally, you know, we can actually turn it into a physical flag and hang it on your wall and fly it outside your house or whatever it is that, that you want to do. Totally up to you. But the whole point of it is just like 
every nation has a flag, and it represents what they stand for, what they guarantee. You stand for something. You have worked. You have value. That's all the flag represents. Every country has a flag. And it's very, very interesting because that flag has meaning. There are people who fought and died over a flag. It's more than just a piece of cloth or a special design. It symbolizes something. It's a signet. It's a seal. It's a signaling device for your DNA. It's designed to attract attention. So the flag symbolizes the attributes and characteristics that make you you. That's why I focus on the life optimization circle, Dear Community Reports, because I want to take your attributes and characteristics, those 12 numbers that have meaning. So each color, if you look at the flag that I sent you guys, what they, if you look at the 12 colors, that matches my life optimization circle. It's a, it, it, it means something. That's why I'm making that offer to everybody today for you to either design your own or I design it for you. Because it represents whether you are absent or present. It represents whether you are in a favorable or unfavorable mindset. So my job, like your job, is to be persistently passionate about the purpose that you present. That's what you offer. So when you come to the marketplace, you have a you can guarantee you can make a promise that what you think you become. So I deal with metaphysics. I deal with the behind the scenes statement, and I keep talking about the same thing to drill it in your head because it took you 18 years to get in that hole. So it's going to take you a couple of minutes to get out. Now, you don't have to, it doesn't take you 18 years because there's no such thing as time and space. Time and space is an illusion that keeps us trapped in confusion. That's the point. Time and space is an illusion that keeps us trapped in confusion. That's why I removed time and space. So that 1.485 I talk about, there's no time, there's no space. I'm already in possession of it. So now I just need the PIN number to experience it or to take it out. Because you already have, well, through the Bible, God has given you everything that you need for life and godliness. So you already got it. You already got everything that it is that you're supposed to have. You was born with it. We talked about that yesterday. So now you just got to unlock the door and experience love, joy, peace, gentleness, meekness, and self-control. That's money. That's wealth. All of that, so to get out of digital slavery, we've got to go through this digital emancipation process so that way we can have what is called digital monetization. We've got the word digital and put in the word spiritual. So to get out of spiritual slavery, we've got to go through spiritual emancipation, but you've got to do it yourself. It's a mental. It's a, it's a mental job. It, it's mental. I think about how I got out, and then every time I go back in, I remind myself of the same thing, how I got out. How did I get out? It was mental. It's crazy because it doesn't seem like the mind. See, the mind is everything. Nothing is more powerful than your mind. But the mind is made up of the mind, the will, the emotion, the imagination, and the intellect. The mind is the reasoning part of the brain. It's the, it's the intellectual aspect that allows you to call things into and to examine, to look at and to come up with different ways by which to do what generate, whether it be wealth, health, wisdom, because the mind is everything, what you think you become. Our mind is so powerful. It's the most powerful possession that you have because it holds the way that you perceive what I'm saying. What I'm saying right now, you are feeling something based on your environment. You could be feeling really, really high. You could be sitting on a billion-dollar yacht out in the middle of the Bahamas right now eating caviar taking in the sun and sipping pee and colliders with your family and your friends right now. Or you could be sitting on the side of the road somewhere homeless, you know, with, with, with nothing and nothing to eat. You could, be, you could be in a different environment, but your mind, 
I don't know if you guys saw the thing where the guy that was in prison for, man, some crazy number of years. All he did was draw golf course, a golf course. And he never played golf. He's from the hood. He never, you know, he never been golf. But he said that gave him a feeling of peace for whatever reason. He said 30 years, that's all he did every day for 10 to 12 hours a day. And these landscape scenes that this dude drew that he had never seen, he just used his creativity and his imagination because what did it do for him? It gave him a feeling. You see, I require myself to only think thoughts that give me that feeling. I force, I make myself think those thoughts. Because I understand the difference between a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. See, growers, we always believe that we can work towards improving ourselves, which leads to manifesting success for ourselves. As a grower, see, my, my mind is not fixed on a specific problem. It's just fixed on a specific solution. That's it. And that solution changes as my mindset changes. So it's very, very, very important that we under over and understand that, okay, regardless of whatever's going on, I have a choice because I know that whatever I think about, all the science, all the biology says that epigenetics goes into my genes and it changes my molecular structure of my genes so that my genes align with my thoughts. That's how the reticular activating system works. So it's interesting that the majority of us, you know, we haven't, we haven't mastered how to direct or to guide or aim, a.k.a. align, because we don't create, align. See, once we fail, we have no strength. We have nothing except what? We've got to accept that failure. And you've got to learn a lesson. You've got to move forward. That's, the, that's how it works. We literally can change our directions just by simply changing our mental projections. That's how we change direction. So it starts with what? You've got to believe in yourself. It sounds simple, right? But it's hard to believe in yourself when you are failing yourself in your head. Because we think that the thing is failure. Many of us haven't got to the point yet where we can understand that there's no such thing as failure. There's no such thing as success. There's just experiences. But we get to choose those experiences. So I start with the images. I start, again, under open understanding that what you imagine, you create. So what you image, you create. So I start with my images. So I reverse think, feel, imagine to imagine, feel, and think. But like everything, I teach it because that's, again, information that's free. But implementing it, you got to reverse engineer it. You know, I've been saying this every show. So you learn it one way, but you implement it another way. That's the trick. So the way that they get us is they don't tell us how to implement it. They teach us, but they don't teach us the implementation of it. It's one thing for you to learn something. It's a whole other thing for you to implement it. So regardless of where you are right now, in order for me to get where I'm at right now to get to my 1.485, it's one thing for me to say it. It's one thing for me to say, I'm a, you know, I have 5,000 people who pay me $2,297. $2, it's one thing to say it, but now it's a whole other thing to implement it. So how do you implement it? Well, the first thing you got to do is you got to imagine it. Because the moment that you imagine it, the moment that you image it, the moment that that image goes to your brain, something happens that I call quiet confidence. See, believing in yourself is very simple. It's not easy, but it's very simple. You start with the pictures in your head. 
You start with the images. They call it visualization. Mind movie. You got to do that. You have to create a movie in your mind. You know what movie means? Move me. Movie, move me. Movie, move me. It's simple, but it's hard. But it's not hard. It's only hard because we've got distractions. Today is Christmas Eve. Nobody's sitting at home meditating and visualizing and praying about their future. We're out spending money, buying gifts for children, and, you know, because that's the program. Ain't nothing wrong with it. It ain't bad. It ain't good. It just is. But for us today, what specific results can you promise? What can you deliver upon? Why should I pay you? There has to be something that you bring to the table that is so valuable that not only me, but for me, this is a question that I ask myself every night. I ask myself, what do I bring to the table? What do I have that's worth $297 that I can give to 7 billion people? There are 7 billion people on this planet. Of that 7 billion people, I only need 5,000. That's like less than 1% of 1%. I don't even know what one, I know it's less than 1%. So you mean to tell me, I know, I don't have to wish, I ain't got to call nobody. I don't need to consult anybody. I don't need to do no marketing, no research. I know I can get 1% of the people in, just in, you know, that's, that's on my TikTok channel. I know I got 25,000 over 20 because I qualify for blankety blank. And I got like, what, two, three TikTok channels? But I, my primary channel, I got over 25,000 people. So out of that 25, 25, I only need five. So now the thing is, well, as we've been talking about, it has to have something in it. You know, remember we talked about it? It's got to be relevant. I just can't just make it up. It has to be valuable. It has to be needed in the marketplace. And so you got to do the same thing that I do every day. So I pay for things according to my creativity, not with my creativity. I pay for things according to my creativity. Now, you may not be a 336. So you pay for things according to your leadership, because you may be a one. You may pay for things according to your intuition. You may be a two. If you're a three like me, you're going to pay for things according to, not with, according to. If you're a four, you're going to pay for things according to your stability, your loyalty. If you're a five, you're going to pay for things according to your free spirit, your, your fun-loving disposition. If you're a six, you're going to pay for things according to your love of detail, according to your passion. You're so detailed. You know this shit that nobody else noticed. So you're going to pay for things. You get things with your, according to your level of you. To the level of understanding you is the level you can pay for things with you. If you don't understand you, you can't pay for things with you. Then now you got to try to pay for things with your. See, I don't use my creativity. I let my creativity use me. If you try to use your gift, you prostitute your gift. If you let your gift use you, the gift will take you before kings. But if you use your gift, then you're prostituting your gift. It's, it's notice I'm pretty much saying the same thing, but what is the intent? My, see, if I do things according to my gift, then it's about other people. But if I do things with my gift, then it's about me. You see, the trick to being successful is your rewards in life equals your service to others, not to self. But you serve yourself, that's how you serve others. It's the same thing, the only thing that's different is the intent. If your intent is to hurt, harm, and defraud, it's going to be rough. If your intent is to love, value, and respect, I'm saying the exact same thing, but the only thing that's changing is my reason. See, the enemy is smart. He makes you focus only on you. And it's very interesting. I get, I get tripped up all the time, and I'm like, oh, shit, I got, I got conned again. Because it's, it's splitting hairs. The difference between success and failure, like the difference between first place 
and second place in the 100-yard dash in the Olympics. If you watch the Olympics in the 100-yard dash, it looks like there's eight or nine men, and it's a, they are all tied. So they go to what? Photo finish. Because the difference between first place and last place is point zero 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 one second. That's the difference. That's the difference between success and failure. The difference between success and failure, but the difference between being a millionaire and being homeless is point zero 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 one second. Or it's so thin, it's razor hair or razor thin. And until we can break down and under over understand that, what do I bring to the marketplace? And the marketplace is yourself. So the question is, what do you think about you? You are, just like me, where you are, because you get exactly nothing more, nothing less than you believe and you deserve. You have to work on your belief and your deserve. For years, most all my life, up until recently, what, four or five years ago, I did not believe I deserved to be happy. I believe I was put on this planet to make other people happy. Now, I didn't say that with my mouth, but that was exuded by my brain. Because I'm a six. As a six, you're naturally designed to serve. But I didn't know that service starts at home first. I just was born making other people happy. As a kid, all I did, you know, was crack jokes. It was my job. And all my family members to this day, every fight I got into, I was protecting my sisters or somebody else. Sisters, family, friends, they all laugh and joke. We talk about it now. Because they all knew. Even to this day, if they call me, they know I'm there. It's just automatic. It's just a part of I don't even have to think about it. That's what I bring to the marketplace. I have an automatic, because it's designed, that's my gift. I just didn't know that I'm supposed to give that to myself first. I've been showing up for everybody else, and I never showed up for myself. I didn't know. It's sad. I mean, you know, it's a lesson. You got to keep remember. You keep going through the test until you pass it. You don't get out of here alive. I don't know if y'all noticed that or not. There's no money until you pass the test. That's why it's called a test. The money. Testimony. No money comes until you pass the test. Now, I have no problem saying no. I also have no problem saying yes. So I know, and I make a promise to myself now. I take care of myself first. Then I take care of everybody else. Now, most of I talk to them, they're understanding because they have not done it 50 years like me. Trust me. You're going to get, you, you'll get it. It takes everybody a little bit longer. It takes some of us, some of us get it, you know, early. Some of us get it longer depending on our path. So number one, you get exactly what you believe you are worth. You get exactly what you believe you are valued. You get exactly what you think, what you think you become. This shit is crazy because it's so, everybody can say that, what you think you become. We've all heard that before. You bring about what you think about. We quote scriptures, we go to church, we turn over chairs. Everybody knows that, but how many people really implement it? Because that's the last piece of the puzzle. The first piece of the puzzle is what you imagine, you create. The second piece of the puzzle is what you feel, you attract. And the third piece of the puzzle is what you think you become. Now, whether you reverse engineer it or not, you can, because guess what? It's an anagram. It's like, it's, like a, it's like the word wow. So how do you spell wow? W-O-W. You reverse it how you spell it, W-O-W. So anyway, whether you go left to right or right to left, it is the mother beep thing. That's an anagram. That's life. See, the system is set up. So you receive the same way you go in and the same way you get out. So the, the, the system instead of so your problem is also your solution. Damn. And most people are running from their problems, not knowing that their problem is their solution. All you got to do what? Share your problems. People pay me because I share my problems. 
That's it. Every guru, now remember, you can make more money going in with Lucifer system, which is what? Do what T.D. Jakes, Toto Dollar, Joel Osteen. Do what I was doing initially, which is what? I was covert, which means what? I exuded a level of complexity, confidence. But it was based upon what? Hiding my faults. Now I lead with my faults. Now I put all my stuff out on front street. I don't hide my stuff any longer like I used to. Now, it took me a long time to get to, to this level of understanding. That's why I talk about it every day. Because the most important piece of the puzzle that you have is yourself. It's your own honesty, your own integrity, your 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 own ability to do things that you need that benefits yourself. But it's interesting because you ain't doing it for yourself. You're actually doing it for other people. So that's the trick. The trick is to make it okay for you to be okay because it's probably not. So what does that mean, though? That means that the way that we process the information is not you. You don't have a problem, as I say on every show. The way that you process information is incorrect. So you're not flawed. God doesn't make flawed people. Flawed people make flawed people. So God doesn't make jobs. Somebody else made you. You're not made in God's image. You're made in somebody else's image. Or you had a teacher. You had a mama and you had a daddy. You had a reverend. They did the best that they could. They thought that they was doing the right thing by you by saying those things to you. Just like I did with my kids. You know, as, as parents, we we don't normally do things to hurt or harm our, our children. No parent does that. But Unfortunately, our children are not us. They have their own personality. They have their own way of thinking. Our children process information different than the way we process information. Now, it's the, it's similar, but it's different. So you can't or should not and try to turn your children into little versions of you because they are individuals. So are you. So now we go back to the same question that I said at the beginning of the show. Um, what specific results are you promising? What can you guarantee me today? If I unmute the mic today and I ask everybody, what can you, I mean, you know, because you've been doing it so you can guarantee, like, ladies, you can, some, some of these ladies are very good, let's say, like my daughter Sheree, she can bake. And she bakes from, like, scratch, like homemade um, ingredients. Like, she make a cake, it doesn't come in a box. She put the ingredients together. She's been doing it since a little girl. She's a good baker. She's also a good seamstress. She can sew, like, she has her own clothing line. So that's something that is very specific because it's not just sewing, but there's a specific process. So the question again is, going into 2024, what specific process do you, do you have that's different from everybody else on the planet? Because anybody can, everybody can make a cake, but the way by which you make it is different. Now, everybody can, like, you know, braid hair, but the way that you braid hair is different. See, the devil's in the details, and God's in the details, too. So what I want you to do today, as we're leading towards, notice that I'm not talking about, you know, money you got, you don't got, blah, 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 because you know what that requires you to do to answer that question? What specific result are you promising? That requires you to know you. Do you know that most of us talk to, they don't love themselves, not the way God designed themselves. I love myself. People call me selfish. And all my life, I believe them. I literally thought I was selfish. For the years, that's why I got in church and got saved, I literally thought I was a sinner. 
So I joined the church and realized, like, damn, these Negroes are way more devious. They're way more clover. They're way more ruthless than I ever was. So why would I take instructions? Why would I let somebody lay their hands on me and transfer their demons to me? Like, I know I got mine, but I don't got as many as they got. So I realized that, hold up. And it took me a while, Brother Mitch, to, to figure it out, brother. But Brother Mitch, I, I, I figured the game out, brother. And I know that the world that we live in is designed to make us feel. It ain't designed to make you feel real, Brother Mitch, as I know you already know. So now we we, we grown folks now, right, Dr. Smith. This ain't nobody's first rodeo. We've all been around the block a few times. And I'm in, encouraging everybody on this call. I don't know where you're at or what's going on in your life personally. I can guarantee you, whatever it is, number one, it ain't going to last forever. I don't care how great it is or how bad it is. And number two, it's not a true reflection of your innate attributes and characteristics. I can guarantee you that. Because there's no trillionaires on this call. We all should be because we all are. We just have not accessed the highest level of our consciousness. That's it. That's why we're still here. Otherwise, you'd have vibrated up on off this planet already because you'd have learned all the lessons that source sent you down here to learn. You would have picked up all the pebbles. You would have gathered all the rocks. You would have went through all your life experiences and uh, said, hey, well done, my good and faithful servants return to the joy of the Lord. You would have been vibrated up on out of here. So if you like me, you still got a heartbeat, you're still here, that just simply means we still got some lessons to learn. We still got some life to live. And it's interesting because it's an inside-outside job. Now, I know when you're going through what we call, you know, bad times, it's, it's interesting because there, it is all-consuming. When you're going through good times, we we forget the bad times. Because when you when you are having fun, so to speak, when you you know at the at the top, you're partying and you're living. It, I didn't understand why we don't learn anything when we are at the top. I used to always say to myself, like, man. Uh, you don't have to teach, you don't have to take me to the bottom. Whatever you want to tell me, you can just tell me that shit once, and I'm gonna get it and implement it until I got to the top. You know, everybody's definitely at the top is different. When you get to the top, something happens to you because now you start to discount the experiences that you had at the valley. What do I mean by discount? When you are in the valley, you have something that's called distance. Distance means that there's a gap between point A and point B. That's all. That's all. Problems is just you, you are in, like, city. Like, I live in a city called San Antonio. My children live in a city called Dallas. It's about, a, you know, depending on what you're driving, a four to six hour drive. You fly there in about 40 minutes, 30, 40 minutes. But it's a distance. A problem is when there's an emergency, let's say, and I don't have a way immediately available to me to get from point A to point B. We call those problems. Problems is just the greater the distance, the more it F's up your feelings. So when you have money, you fund addictions. You don't fund feelings. And that's what money does. That, that's, just, that's, that's what the Bible says is the, the love of it. Not not it, but the love of it is the root. Because now I didn't understand what that meant for years until I got to the place where I could experience it. 
That's what I know what it means. It means that you can collapse the distance faster and easier. It takes discipline not to feed your addictions, but to feed purpose, as I've learned. So now, even though I'm in a position to fund or to feed my addictions, I don't. Even though I may be in a position to do things, I don't. Because I know I could hurt more than I could help. Because I've already done it before. So at this level of awareness, now you have discernment. So now I have a good understanding of the big picture that the big G has been trying to tell me and everybody on this call for years. During your way to success, you are going to encounter obstacles that come as hidden blessings. I don't like the word blessings, but benefits. So let me say that again. On your journey, on the road to success, you're going to encounter obstacles. But these obstacles are hidden opportunities. You must look for them in order to find them and see them. If you look for them, that's what thinking means. What you think, you become. What you feel, you attract. What you imagine, you create. So to succeed, you have to believe, a.k.a. know, with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Because your thoughts are going to reverberate into the universe. And the universe is going to reverberate back to you. You always become what you think about as you travel. If you're not traveling, you're not thinking. You always become. So I'm begging you to only think about the solution, not the problem that is present. The trick that the enemy does is to get you to start creating images of the worst-case scenario. Once your life is filled with the images of fear, you're going to be trapped here. You stay in Groundhog's Day. You keep repeating the same things over and over again because the universe is a mirror. But it only mirrors back to you when you are on the journey because that's the only time that you encounter obstacles or opportunities. You don't learn anything when you are on the mountaintop. Because you ain't going nowhere. Because the mountaintop is a peak. When you get to the top, you stop. Every time you get to the top, you stop. Until you start to reverberate backwards. Then you start to encounter distance again. And then you have to, oh, I got to get back to where I used to be. Or you want to go to a whole other place. So thinking my brothers and sisters, because everything is energy and you are sending out energy. You are sending out verbs. You're sending out vibrations into the universe and you get back what you send out. The moment I realized that, it changed my whole life because now I don't worry. Uh, I'm not concerned about external events. I don't care. i only concerned about my thoughts because I know that shit's coming back. I know if I think about worst-case scenario, I'm going to experience it, so I don't care how I feel. I disconnect my feelings and I activate my thoughts. I force myself to feel love, joy, in the midst of the valley. When I'm broke, I feel rich. When I'm rich, I feel rich. When I'm sick, I feel healthy. And when I'm healthy, I feel healthy. When I'm dumb, when I'm in an environment where I don't know nothing about it, I feel like I'm the smartest person in the room. When I am the smartest person in the room, I feel like I'm the smartest person in the room. When I'm in a relationship, I feel like everything is perfect. I ignore the problems, and I only focus on the solutions. I only focus on the good part of the relationship. I never focus on the bad part of the relationship. I don't argue. I don't fight. I don't debate. I ignore problems because I ain't interested in ordering a new problem. Why would I order something I don't want? I tell you this every day. Why would you order? Why would you keep ordering something that you don't want? 
So I don't care how I feel. Feelings is the most dangerous thing in the world. Feelings is the thing that's the most overrated in the world. Feelings, man, feelings create the feel. And the feel creates what is real. So I don't care how you feel. I know this, I know this is rough because we raised it in an environment, you know, if we all watch Disney Channel and, you know, Warm and Fuzzy and all that shit. That ain't the real world, bro. In the real world, you bring about what you think. Because what you think changes what you feel. And what you feel, that creates what is real. Because what you what you think you become, what you feel, you attract. What you imagine, you create. So I want to ask you a question. Of those three things, which is more important to you? What you become, what you attract, or what you create? Now, create is kind of a misnomer. It's really what you align with. Because we don't really create anything, but just for the sake of the phrase, which one is more important? Is what you become or is what you be more important than what you attract? Or is what you be more important than what you align or, or what you create? You see, this is one of the most dangerous things on earth. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? The devil gets everybody by getting us to stay in duality. Is that a male or a female? Is it positive or negative? The devil is smooth with that. He gets everybody trapped with the tree of knowledge of good and evil. It's the same mother tree. It's the same tree. What you attract and what you create, align with, that's the same tree. The law of attraction, the law of creation is the same. The only thing that matters is your being state. See, be equals cause. Out of the two, a.k.a. three options you have, option one creates all three. But if you put option two or three, it neutralizes one. Now, they all three work together, but I'm asking you, of the three, which one would you be? Notice being is first. Being is the result of the other three. Being attracts. Being aligns. Being. That's why you are a spiritual being. That's why being choose ye this day. Whom ye will be. It's a being state. Because being means existing. You can't attract if you don't exist. You can't create if you don't exist. You got to exist first. They all three are the same as the Trinity. You need all three. You need the conscious, you need the subconscious, and you need the unconscious. What's more important? The unconscious. Because the unconscious is twice the size as the conscious and the subconscious. The unconscious is who you are not aware of. So you got to make your unawareness awareness. Being means awareness. The most important thing was, was, was in order for you to be present, and that's a present, the present is a present, you don't want to be absent in your own life. So the way that you change your whole life is every morning you wake up, you make a choice. I choose to be wealthy. I don't give a blank about the current reality because the brain will continue to occupy your mind so that way you cannot align with your design. The brain is smart because it's, remember the brain wants to see want, the brain wants to keep you safe, not rich. The brain wants to keep you safe, not healthy. The brain wants to keep you safe, not wise. The brain wants to keep you safe, not in a great relationship. So your brain right now, the way it's programmed, is not your best friend. You have to reprogram it. Then it becomes your best friend. What if you reprogram your brain to thrive? Instead of survive. So right now your brain is bringing you options, but the options is to keep you safe. 
The brain doesn't like risk. And no matter what you do, the brain will always bring you the first option is to keep you safe. So I never go with option A. I never go with option B. I always go with option C. Because I know, I know that my brain wants, it thinks it's doing a good job. And so I tell my brain, thank you, appreciate you. The reticular activating system is saying um, it's risky. That shit might not work. But I tell my brain, what if it does work? My brain tell me, well, what if it doesn't? I tell my brain, what if it does? So that's the trick. The brain sends you reality. The brain sends you facts. The brain sends you what you have done. The brain sends you a reminder of how many times you failed. The brain is sending you the truth. The brain is telling you, look, man, you tried this last time and this shit didn't work. That's true. But that has nothing to do with you. Because the reason that it didn't work because you wasn't the highest version of yourself at that time. Now you've aligned into your mind with your God-given design, especially if you're hanging out with Negroes like me. So I'm going to tell you the highest version of yourself. Now the brain is going to tell you, yeah, we tried that before. Remember, it did not work. That's true. This is why it is easy but it's difficult because all your family members are going to say, Emily, you know we love you. We just want to do what's best for you, Emily. So we don't think that, you know, we know you're thinking about, you know, starting your own business or, you you know, you're thinking about, you know, going on this weight loss journey or you're thinking about going back to school and getting your Ph.D. You're thinking about changing your relationship or you're thinking about doing this and, you know, well, you know you're not that good at picking mates or you're not that good at, you know, business ventures and, I mean, look at your track record. Your family, they're going to bring facts. The devil will never bring fiction. Never. The reason he, she, or it is so good, because it lives in reality. Source don't live there. The big G don't live in reality. The big G live in mentality. All things are possible to him that believe. Everything is frequency. You just got to align your mind with the highest version of your design. That requires changing your verbiage. That means you got to change your field. That means you got to change your feelings, which means you got to change your thoughts. That's why you reverse engineer it. So you start off, okay, I got to change what I've created. You got to remember when I started, I had 50 years of failure. The thing that motivated me was stories like Colonel Sanders, I think, what? He ain't bust a great until he was 60 or 65. I read all these stories of all these men who became successful later in life. They ain't do shit for the first 40 years. So I gather facts that support my belief. I got enough evidence to support me being safe. Safe does not make you rich. You got to take, I mean, that's the part of being successful is taking risks that other people are not willing to take. Otherwise, everybody would be rich. Everybody would be healthy. Everybody would be living their life with their dreams. Everybody would be, you know, with their dream boo-boo. See, if you're only thinking about it, the things that you already have, you're going to get more of the things that you already have. The key to success It's for you to think about things that you don't have because you do have them. Every failure is a step forward. Every breakdown is a breakthrough. See, the only thing that you have to do is to believe. You become what you believe. I've had more failures than I can fucking count. And every breakdown was a breakthrough. Every setback was a step up. It's extremely important because every failure is a lesson. There's no such thing as a loss. 
That's only lessons. When you change your mindset, the first thing you do is think differently. The second thing that happens is you dream differently. The third thing that happens is you believe differently. The fourth thing that happens is you dare differently. And that's a quote from the famous 33rd degree Freemason, Walt Disney. You built Disneyland with the understanding that, hey, I got to think different. I got to dream different. I got to believe different so I can dare. I can take risks. But to take a risk, you got to believe. And to believe, you got to dream. And to dream, you got to think. So my brothers and my sisters, again, what specific result? Remember, people don't buy books. They don't buy courses. They don't even buy people. People buy results. That's why everybody's here today. You're here listening because you're like, man, it's Christmas Eve. I could be doing other things. But there's something that doctor might say that can help me get a different result. Sell results. Talk about results. Don't talk about books. Don't talk about colors. Don't talk about graphics. Don't talk about websites. Nobody gives up. I don't care about that shit. The only thing I care about is um, anybody on this call that can help me get to my 1.485 million. If you can't take me. If you can help me get there, let me know. And the way that you help me get there, take advantage of today's offer. Take advantage of yesterday's offer. Take advantage of tomorrow's offer. Because guess what? You become a one of those members at the 297 to 197 or today's offer, 97 level. Brothers and sisters, pay for things with offers, not money, not creativity, not credit. The way that you pay for what you want in life in 2024 is to make offers. So my question to you is, do you have a product, a service, or information? It benefits other people more than it benefits yourself. If you do, make me an offer. If you make offers that help me get a result, I'm going to give you my money. Everybody else will too. All you have to do is make offers. Make offers. Now, again, that's just monetary. But the same thing in health. Same thing to lose weight. To be healthy, what you gotta do? Make offers. You just make an offer to a different you gotta make an offer to the clients, you make an offer to yourself. You gotta make yourself an offer that is so believable, you get up off the sofa and get on the treadmill. That's what I do every day. I tell myself, man, you wanna look like you want that six pack? You wanna make sure you can walk up a flight of stairs without going <laughs> So I'm promising myself a result in the area of health, and it motivates me. I promise myself a result. People buy results. Only think about results. Tell me how you're going to help me get to a result. If you can help me get from point A to point B, I'm going to buy what you're selling. I'm gonna, well, I got the big borrow still. Whatever I got to do to get the money, I'm going to get it. Why? Because you are guaranteeing me you can help me get from point A to point B. So, again, what specific result can you help me with? Post that on Facebook. I love you. And then you can do about it. See you guys, uh, I guess, probably tomorrow. About this.